know what the Valhalla has happened on Vikings? Well, listen up, because here we go. Meet Ragnar and Rolo, the Viking Lothbrok brothers. They're pretty awesome. Ragnar, tired of writing to the east, has a big idea. I believe there's a way to go west. But like all big ideas, there's a bigger person in charge who thinks his big ideas are bigger than anyone else's. There are no lands to the west. Ragnar has his freaky friend Floki build a boat and they sail west anyway. They reach a new land, Northumbria. Let us pray. And attack a monastery. Ragnar spares a monk called Athelstan and takes him home. Earl Haraldson is a grumpy sore loser and claims Ragnar's treasure for himself. All this belongs to me. But Ragnar challenges him to a duel and kicks his grumpy sore loser butt. Hail, oh Ragnar! Everyone celebrates, except this guy. Kill him. Mm. Ragnar gets freaky with Princess Aslog, but his son Bjorn has something to say about that. Swear to me that it will not happen again. Oh yeah. Jarl Borg and Rolo double cross Ragnar. I will fight with you against my brother. Really, Rolo? Really? Season two kicks off with the Battle of the Brothers. Everyone gets shirtless and bloody. Is this what you really want, brother? I gotta fight you. Lagatha finds out about Princess Asla. Did you have sex with her? Oh yeah. Ragnar goes for two. I have heard that similar arrangements exist all over this country. But Lagatha ain't got no time for that. So he sails to Wessex and Athelstan kills a bunch of monks. Sorry, monks. King Eckbert invites Ragnar to take a bath and talk peace. Until... Your lands are lost. Invaded by Jarl Borg. Ragnar returns to Kattegat and Lagatha decides she wants to tag along. Bjorn is grown up and a badass and a ladies man. Is that Floki? Weird, dude. Together they drive out Jarl Borg and Ragnar kills him. It's pretty gross slash awesome. Back home, Lagatha has married another Earl. But don't expect this shield maiden to play housewife. <laughs> The now Earl Lagatha agrees to help Ragnar raid Wessex. Shield wall! It's on like Viking Kong. There's a big fight, Rolo gets run over, and Ragnar runs away. Everyone wants to stop fighting, but the Viking King Hort isn't happy. He must overcome the magic of Ragnar Lothbrok. He leads his men against Ragnar, but is double-crossed by Floki. All hail King Ragnar. In season three, the Vikings return to Wessex. They are given land and asked to fight Mercia. While Lagatha is farming, Cap steals her earldom. Oh, Ragnar knocks some sense into Mercia's prince, and he surrenders. Princess Aslog beds a mysterious traveler. Judith and Athelstan get freaky, and Lagatha sleeps with King Egbert. That's a busy morning. Siggy plays lifeguard, but ends up drowning herself while this guy watches. Athelstan tells Ragnar how amazing French food is. We shall attack Paris. Athelwolf attacks the Viking farm, and King Egbert gets mad. Arrest this man, this man, and this. Psych. It was really his plan all along. I played my part well, did I not? Athelstan gets down to his tidy whities and asks God for forgiveness. But Floki doesn't like that. <laughs> the Vikings attack Paris. Count Odo has his hands full defending the city. So Princess Gisla gives a big speech. No quarter is to be given to our enemies! I think she promised them cheese. The wimpy French emperor pays the Vikings to leave, but Ragnar wants more. I want to be baptized. No one seems happy about that. Ragnar is killed in battle and his body is brought to the church. But... <laughs> surprise! Ragnar is reborn. I win. He kills a priest, the emperor faints, and the gates of old Paris are open for business. After the fun, the Vikings go home and Rollo is left behind. The Emperor asks Rollo to marry his daughter, but he must defend Paris when Ragnar returns. Sounds like a match made in Valhalla. Rollo accepts. salut. Really, Rollo? Again? Well, that sums up the last three seasons of Vikings. And every Thursday at 10, don't miss all new episodes. On History.